Wick is the mejor, el programa de Wick, The Wick Show. Hi, and welcome back to The Wick Show. I'm Alana Samuel. Pregnancy is an exciting time of change and anticipation. For 40 weeks, you watch as your body transforms itself while counting down the days for the arrival of your baby. In our next segment, see how you can stay in shape during and after your pregnancy. Hi, my name is Yael Martinez, and today I'm going to guide you through some simple yoga exercises you can do during and after pregnancy. All of these poses will help you prepare for labor and will give you strength for after your baby's born. So you don't need to buy anything to do yoga. All you really need is some comfortable clothing, a non-skid surface like a mat or carpeting, a blanket, and a quiet and comfortable space where you can do your practice. It's always best to do all of these poses without socks um, or barefoot so you can prevent slipping. Helping me today are two WIC clients. If you're in your first trimester, please follow Maria. If you're in your second trimester, please follow me. And if you're in your third trimester, please follow Kamisha. So now we're gonna start with some simple breathing exercises. These exercises will help you not only relax and increase blood flow, but it will also help you during really stressful times with your new baby. So close your eyes. Let go of any thoughts that you had about your day or any thoughts that you have about everything you have to do after you're done with this practice. Start paying attention to your breath. Paying attention to each inhale and exhale. Making each inhale and exhale longer and deeper each time you breathe. With each inhale, you're gonna bring your body more calmness and relaxation. And with each exhale, you're gonna start letting go of any tension in your body. This next pose we're gonna get into is called the cat-cow pose. Go ahead and get on your hands and knees. Place your hands directly below your shoulders and your knees directly below your hips. With your next inhale, you're gonna Curve your back down, lifting your chest up and your pelvis up into a cow position. And exhale, you're going to curve your spine and tilt your pelvis in and lower your head, almost like a cat stretching. So with each inhale, you're going to stretch your body like a cow. And with each exhale, you're going to stretch your body like a cat. Do this exercise following your own breath and do this about five times. If you're in your third trimester, please follow Kamisha. You're only gonna move through this exercise into the cat pose. So take a deep inhale in a tabletop position and on your exhale, you're gonna curve your spine, tilt your pelvis down and look down into a cat stretch. On your inhale, go ahead and come back into a tabletop position. Now we're gonna move into a simple yoga flow. These exercises will help tone your legs, your abdominals, and your arms. This will be really useful in preparing for your birth, but also after you have your baby. It will give you strength to lift your baby and hold the baby for long periods of time. Now we're going to do what's called the warrior two pose. From standing, take a wide step back with your right leg. Turn your left foot forward and your right foot slightly at an angle. Your left heel should draw an imaginary line through the right arch of your foot. Lift your arms up to shoulder length and gaze over past your left hand. Take a couple of breaths here. On your next inhale, straighten your left leg and lift your arms up and your gaze up. Your fingertips should be touching. On the next exhale, return to the first pose, the warrior two pose, using your breath as a guide to move from one pose to the other. 
Inhale as you go into a pyramid pose. Exhale as you return to the warrior two pose. Repeat five times on each side. Now we're gonna move into what's called the bound angle pose. This is a sitting pose that will help open the pelvis and release tension in the lower back during and after pregnancy. Place a blanket or roll part of your mat and sit at the edge of it. Sit up straight with the soles of your feet touching each other. Gently press your knees down and away from each other, but don't force them apart. If you're in your third trimester, please follow Kamisha. If you're postpartum or in your first or second trimester, you can begin to fold over slightly over your feet, leading with your chest. Only go as far as you feel comfortable and without squishing your belly if you're pregnant. Hold this pose for a few minutes while taking deep breaths, sending a sense of release to your lower back and thighs with each breath. Slowly walk yourself up with your hands and sit up straight. Now bring your left arm behind you near your lower back and begin to twist slightly to your left. Bring your right hand to your left knee. Look to your left. Hold this twist for two deep breaths. On your next inhale, come back to center. Repeat this on your right side, bringing your right hand behind you and begin to twist to your right. Bring your left hand on your right knee and gaze to your right. Take two full breaths and on your next inhale, return to the center. This next exercise strengthens your arms and your shoulders. This will be really helpful when holding your baby. It is also a great exercise to manage discomfort through breathing. This can be really useful during labor. Find a comfortable cross-legged position. Place a blanket or roll part of your mat and sit at the edge of the fold. Sit up straight and hug your abdominals slightly. Relax your shoulders. Lift both arms up in front of you, shoulder distance apart, and palms facing up. On an exhale, bend your arms and your fingers towards you. Inhale and straighten them again. Repeat this movement with each breath for three to five minutes. This last pose is a side-lying relaxation pose. This will help alleviate any fatigue and can be done at the end of this series of yoga poses. It is also a great pose to do during and after pregnancy. Lie on your left or right side with your head resting on your arm or a blanket. Make sure to put a pillow or a blanket between your thighs to give your hips some support. Use another blanket to cover yourself if you're feeling cold. Try to completely relax, letting go of any tension. With each exhale, you let yourself relax deeper and deeper. Try to give yourself five minutes in this pose without thinking of what you have to do next. Give yourself this time and place to relax and feel at peace. I'm Yann Martinez, and I just wanna thank you for taking the time to practice with me today. I wish you the best of luck during your pregnancy and on your new path of motherhood. Before starting any new exercise routine, make sure you check with your doctor or midwife first. We hope you enjoyed this edition of The WIC Show. On behalf of WIC, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon on the next edition of The WIC Show. I'm Alana Samuel. Take care. I love WIC. Me encanta WIC. Apoya mucho. They are supportive. Es útil. And they're so helpful. Coma sanamente. Eat fruits and vegetables. Su bebé es importante. So eat healthy. The baby is important. Exercise regularly. Del embarazo al nacimiento. From pregnancy to birth, put your nutrition first. Breastfeeding is the best choice. Dar pecho, la mejor opción. Yeah, WIC is the best. WIC is lo mejor, el programa de WIC. The WIC Show.